Hanuman is known as the monkey god. Sri Guru Charana Saroja Raja. But this is a colonial legacy that we as Indians have inherited and then we continue to share. Hanumanji is a Vanara. Vanara might colloquially be a name for a monkey, but its Sanskrit meaning is different. Nara means man and Va means a precursor to. So Hanumanji as a Vanara represents a point in evolution of our natural history that precedes humankind as we see it today. Despite being a Vanara, Hanumanji holds all those qualities that we today are searching for and has achieved the highest level of success that any of us can aspire to. No wonder that Hanumanji is an icon for the youth, for all of us, even today. The Hanuman Chalisa begins with the words Jai Hanuman. But do we know what Hanuman means? Hanu means chin and Man is one who has been struck on the chin. So collectively, it means someone who has some degree of damage on their chin. Now the chin is a symbol of our pride. Someone who is very haughty always walks with their chin up. But one whose chin has been struck is a humble person. So Hanumanji with all of his strength retains his humility. And that is the first secret of success that we can find from Hanumanji. But also, the story of how Hanumanji acquired this structure is a fascinating one and one that we can draw a huge amount of inspiration from. As a child, Hanumanji could not sit still. And that's a trait that he shares with all children. Any child, as soon as they have a toy, in a few moments will start to look for something else to play with. And quite often, they'll ignore the toy and start playing with the box in which that toy was brought. So too, Hanumanji was jumping from tree to tree, consuming berries, fruits, and just having a great time, trying to find something that's even more exciting than the previous one. And this child Hanuman looked up into the sky and saw the sun. And it was in the middle of a solar eclipse, being consumed by the shadow of the moon. The so sun was starting to disappear. And this young boy thought, oh, the sun is starting to disappear. I want to eat the sun because that's the most magnificent fruit that I can see. So thinking that the sun was a mango, this young child leapt up into the air and hurtled towards the sun to try and consume it. At which point, the divine natural beings known as the Devas that represent the different natural energies in our environment, like Indra represents rain, Vayu represents wind, Varuna represents water and so on. These Devas were scared that if Hanumanji consumes the sun, then the world will be forever in darkness. So in his blind panic, the king of the Devas, Indra, hurtled his thunderbolt at Hanumanji, which struck him on the chin and Hanumanji fell down unconscious. Now, one of Hanuman's parents was Vayu, the deity of the wind. And Vayu, angry at this attack on his son, stopped functioning. So imagine if the wind stops functioning, what will happen? There would be no air left for us to breathe. There would be no natural cycles on the planet. So all of the Devas prayed to Vayu to please resume his duties, which he did on one condition, that all of the Devas bless Hanuman with their own attributes, their own unique strength and capabilities. So Hanumanji gained all of these strengths and capabilities. Now this is the story. Behind the story, there's an even deeper philosophical meaning. Why did Hanumanji reach out for the sun? And what does the sun represent? The sun is at the heart of not just life on earth, but the arrangement that we have in our galaxy. It is the power of the sun that keeps all the planets in their place and creates just the perfect condition for life to exist on earth. So even from a natural perspective, the highest thing to aspire to, the greatest presence is that of the sun. But in Bharatiya culture, in Hinduism, the sun and the light of the sun is deified to represent inner knowledge and truth. In the famous Gayatri Mantra, we pray Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonav Prachodayat. We pray to the sun in the form of Savitur and we ask the sun, just as you illumine all of these worlds, illumine my inner space. Give me the highest knowledge. The one 
who not only aspires for this higher knowledge but takes a daring and giant leap not thinking of the consequences is hanuman he represents the great courage and aspiration that is required to try and acquire the highest he tells us in our life we should not be defined by our limitations and what we've not been able to achieve but rather look and go and jump and ambitiously aspire and attain the highest knowledge how do we know hanuman ji attained the highest knowledge well because after he was revived from this attack by indra hanuman ji prayed to surya and asked surya dev to become his guru even though hanuman ji was not able to consume the sun he acquired all of the luster all of the knowledge that had to be acquired from the sun anyway now the hanuman chalisa is composed by the great author poet devotee saint that was goswami tulsidas ji goswami tulsidas ji's life is fascinating he's such an inspiring example of devotion and excellence and there are innumerable stories related to his life which sadly we don't have time to go into all of them today but there's one story around how he started to write that i find particularly inspiring now goswami tulsidas ji was a pandit a learned person who was settled in kashi in varanasi and there he was a great devotee of bhagwan shri ram and as a devotee of bhagwan shri ram he wished to to compose the ramayan again just as an act of his offering to bhagwan and every day goswami tulsidas ji would write his verses in sanskrit and at night when he slept those verses were erased again the next day he would start to write the verses and overnight as he slept again those verses were erased in despair he prayed out loud to the lord of kashi to the lord of varanasi bhagwan shiv and said o oh shiva help me understand why my verses are being erased at that point he received the divine vision of bhagwan shiva and ma parvati and bhagwan shiva revealed who had been erasing his verses bhagwan shiva said that he himself as shiva was erasing those verses those verses in sanskrit could not exceed the excellence that valmiki ji had achieved in his original composition of ramayan in sanskrit and so bhagwan shiv said to him your duty in this lifetime is to compose the ramayan in the local language avadhi bhasha which is a dialect of hindi and that when goswami tulsidas composed is the incredible text that we know today as shri ram charitmanas or tulsi ramayan now shri ram charitmanas has many chapters and many volumes dedicated to the story of ram The most famous and the most beautiful volume is known as the Sundar Kand, which is that part of the story that deals with Hanuman. Now, all of us can't read Sundar Kand every day, so we are given the gift of Hanuman Chalisa to learn to chant. And this effort by me and my team is to create some degree of understanding, so that when we chant with devotion and we add understanding to it, our own devotion increases, and we can unlock the secrets into our own lives. Now, these secrets of success are being offered with the grace of Hanuman Ji entirely for free by my team and I. If you found this valuable. and you haven't subscribed then please subscribe to our channel this might be a small step for you but it's a huge help to us and if you have already subscribed then please share it amongst family and friends my name is om dhumatkar and i will see you again very soon with secrets of success from the hanuman chalisa namaste